In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you my AI content pipeline and give you a behind the scenes look of how I'm creating content that's fueling automations such as my social media automation. Now, all of this is being managed through one Google Sheet. It's pulling all these short videos from Google Drive links that are then auto posting across all my social platforms. So I wanted to make a follow-up video explaining how I'm creating all of this content that's feeding my social media automation. So if you haven't seen that video first, I will leave that in the video description below and I recommend watching that first. But you're not gonna wanna miss this video so be sure to stick around until the very end. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and I help founders, executives, and creators leverage AI to scale content, build trust, and grow a strong personal brand online. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools, prompts, and even some automation templates, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So after you've seen my tutorial on how I built this social media automation that auto posts across all of my platforms every day, the next question always becomes, well, Ryan, this is great, but how do you keep creating this content that fuels the machine? Where if I didn't touch anything, this would expire on October 17th. So if I didn't touch anything and let this thing run out, it would post once a day until October 17th. So obviously I need to fill in more rows here to keep this automation flowing. So it's not, so I wanna stay consistent on all platforms and keep posting of course. So there's a lot of moving parts to talk about with this entire system and I probably won't cover everything. I'll probably miss something along the way, but I'm just gonna try to explain this as best as I can. So I guess I'll start off by saying this. If your social media content strategy only involves evergreen text posts, which by the way, I wouldn't recommend that. I would throw that in the mix, but I wouldn't just solely do evergreen text posts. Then this process is extremely easy, right? There's tons of ways you can use AI through repurposing YouTube transcripts, repurposing podcast episodes, or just generating evergreen text posts in your tone, in your style, using a custom GPT, using a chat GPT project, and you could just you know rinse and repeat on and on and on, and this process is very simple. But if you want social media content that actually moves the needle and gets a lot of engagement, you know, drives people to take action, draws conversions, right? We need to start adding videos and images to the mix. And that is what these other two tabs are. So I'll explain these tabs quick and I'll explain my strategy from a holistic standpoint before I start getting in the weeds. So you'll notice I have three tabs, sheet one, X and LinkedIn posts, and then evergreen text posts. I just talked about evergreen text posts. I'm only posting these on my X and LinkedIn account as obviously on YouTube shorts, TikTok and Instagram reels, you have to have some form of media involved there. So sheet one, this is my posting tab for YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, and also TikTok. And the reason that I don't have this in the same tab as X or LinkedIn is that best practices differ between the platforms, right? Especially with the captions. Hashtags are the big reason here. Hashtags are still very important on YouTube shorts, TikTok, and Instagram reels, not very important on Twitter, X, or LinkedIn, for instance. So that's the reason there is just the difference in captions. And if I go to my X or LinkedIn post tab, you'll notice here that my captions are shorter. They don't include hashtags. So just trying to fuel little best practices between those platforms like X and LinkedIn versus what you're doing on YouTube Shorts, uh, TikTok, and Instagram Reels. So I wanted to explain that first. Now, let me get into how I'm actually generating these videos. So the first little detail to point out here is that all of these videos are all being pulled from a Google Drive folder. For those who were confused by all these Google Drive links, I wanted to call that out first and I explained that more in my original tutorial of how I built the social media automation. So as an example here, I'm gonna look at today, which is September 20th, the day I'm recording this video, here is the post that went out to my platform. So if I look at my X account, for instance, this is the exact post that went out seven hours ago with this video, with this caption, like you're seeing here in row 47. So if I click this Google Drive link, I'm gonna play a little bit of this here so you guys can see what this looks like. 
Most businesses are creating content completely wrong and wasting thousands of dollars in the process. That's backwards. Video should be your foundation, not your afterthought. When someone searches for your... So not bad, right? Of course, you know, I could make these videos better and whatnot, but just for the purposes of this, there are two ways that you can do this. Number one, you can make these videos yourself. I'm not a video editor. I don't have those types of skills, but those who are, this might be worth it doing it yourself. Or number two, you can hire someone to do these videos for you, which is what I've done. I've hired someone overseas, which when I batch all of my short videos together, it actually pans out to about 10 bucks a video, sometimes even less. So the ROI is definitely there for me versus if I were to go through here and try to do all of this on my own, edit, take long form podcasts, chop them up, blah, blah, blah. That would just be a complete waste of my time. The other important thing to note here is that this is not me actually doing this. This is my clone. This is my AI clone that's really performing in all of these videos across YouTube shorts, the tweet that I just showed you here, TikTok, Instagram reels, et cetera. And this is all being generated through a platform called HeyGen. 29 bucks a month to generate unlimited videos. You can create your own professional clone in HeyGen that looks and sounds just like you. I have a separate tutorial showing that, so I'll leave that in the video description below as well. But you'll notice all of these different videos that have all these titles, that is what's showing up right here. And so I can do this manually or outsource this entire process to someone else, which is what I'm currently doing right now. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can do this manually. And that's what I did when I first started doing this entire system, just so I could learn step-by-step step what's good, what's not good all the bells and whistles that I could make an SOP from and then send that off to a VA or someone else to then mimic this entire process. So in this example, what we're going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add to this automation, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at row 75 and how do I know what I wanna even add here? I guess that's the very first question. Well, I do have a podcast on my YouTube channel called AI Rabbit Holes. I'd recommend watching some of these if you haven't already, by the way. But what you can do with this is actually repurpose existing long form content like podcast episodes into short form scripts and then create clone videos from those short form scripts. So I'll show you something as an example. Within ChatGPT, for instance, I have a custom GPT called a video script creator. So I've already trained it on how I sound, my writing style, my best practices, my hooks, my CTAs, et cetera. You can apply this to a project as well. And so for instance, let's say, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter here. So for instance, let's say I want five short form video scripts based on this podcast here with Nathan Gotch of how AI changed SEO forever. And so now what it's going to do within this custom GPT is it's going to repurpose that entire YouTube transcript from that podcast episode and now give me five separate short form video scripts with my instructions. So here it says, here are five short form video scripts about AI SEO. And then I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this output is actually finalized. All right, so ChatGPT was being a little buggy there for a second, but you see now I just got five short form video scripts that all came with a title and then it also came with the actual script here. And so what you would do if you were doing this manually, let's say, you know, let's just do... Um, let's hear, let's do number two, AI loves YouTube. So start there. So what I would do if I were going to do this whole thing manually myself is I would first copy this title. I would come into HeyGen. I would click create video. And then what I would do is click portrait video. And then it's going to take me to a video editor here. And so then what I would do is paste in that title right here. AI loves YouTube. So start there. And then I would copy and paste this entire script come back to HeyGen, paste it in here, and then I wanna actually choose my own avatar. So I would click this, replace avatar, Ryan Dozer avatar, and then I would find one of my actual avatars that I do like. This is a good one here, center it, remove that watermark. This is an important step as well. I know I'm getting in the weeds, but I just wanna show you guys everything. This is the voice. So what I wanna do is actually use my professional voice clone that's coming from the 11 Labs API. So if I click that, 
That voice is coming from Eleven Labs where I have my professional voice clone set up. That's a whole separate software. I won't get into that for the purposes of this tutorial. But then what you'll do is you'll see this video is about 50 seconds long. You can obviously come in here and edit the script within the editor if you want, but that's it. Then you would click generate. Here's that title. We wanna to switch to Avatar Unlimited, click submit. And that is the manual process that you would do if you wanna go ahead and create all of these short videos from scratch by repurposing long form episodes from a podcast or other existing content that you have into short form video scripts. But as you see, that can get very tedious doing it this way. So that's why I've hired someone to do this process for me after originally doing it myself, just so I could get best practices down, compile an SOP, et cetera. But even after generating these clone videos, these are just raw clone videos. This doesn't even count all the other edits that are involved. So if I play this one, for instance, you'll see what I'm talking about. Here's the secret no one on social media wants to admit. Boring automation. Hey, I'm wearing the same shirt as my clone there, by the way. But you see, there's no fancy edits. There's no background music. There's no noises. There's nothing that makes that short video pop that would drive more engagement like you see in these popular short form videos across all the different platforms. So then what I would have my editor do is I would have him go in and download all of these videos here within my HeyGen platform, and then he would edit them, edit them himself, excuse me, and then upload them in a Google Drive folder where I could then extract these URLs and then dump them into this Google sheet here where they're now ready to go. I know that sounds like a very convoluted process and you're probably, you have a million questions about you know this process or that process. If you wanna pick my brain on this entire system, I do offer AI consulting. I'll leave that link in the video description below if you're interested, as I know this process can be very convoluted as I've literally spent hours trying to troubleshoot and figure it out so I can get my systems dialed in. Now, a couple notes here before I move on. You do not have to do this entire AI clone short video process that I just explained. I personally think that having a face and a voice that looks and sounds like you is gonna resonate more with people, move the needle, build trust, grow your personal brand, more than just posting like faceless videos. It's way easier to spin up AI slot faceless videos and just post those on autopilot, but you can definitely do that. I'm not saying faceless videos don't move the needle. Some of them definitely do, just not my style and not my recommendation. You can also post images such as infographics that look like this or that look like this. And instead of where these video files are right here, these Google Drive URLs, you could upload images and then paste those URLs right here as well attached to a caption. So if you're doing images, this process is way easier than what I'm showing you with videos. Now, of course, the benefit of using short videos is you can post across Instagram Reels, TikTok and YouTube Shorts, where if you're doing images and evergreen text posts, you obviously can't post on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and other platforms that are video only. So I wanted to call out those two points first, just in case you guys had any questions listening to that. And I should also mention there are ways to fully automate that HeyGen clone process that I just explained using platforms like make.com, N8N, Zapier, et cetera. Now, if you are not very tech savvy with AI automations, this is going to give you all sorts of headaches. So let me just start by saying that. Also, if you're using HeyGen via the API, this is way more expensive than using just the web app. The web app costs $29 a month for unlimited videos. HeyGen's API is about $100 a month and you have a cap on how many videos you can create. It's not that many. I wanna say it's less than 100. And so if you're doing this at scale, obviously that adds up a lot over time. There's, just, there's a lot more errors and things that can slip through the cracks this way as well. But for those who wanna automate that process, I just wanted to let you know that it is possible to do that. Now that's enough of me talking about the media files like images and videos. And I'll just say this to conclude it. If you already have a library or folder of existing short videos, existing long videos, existing images, I would just start there versus trying to use AI to spin all of this up from scratch. A lot of organizations, a lot of solopreneurs, small businesses, they typically have a media library somewhere of existing videos and images. And so I would recommend starting there versus trying to come up with all of this stuff on the fly. 
Okay, great. Now we have our media files pulling from that Google Drive folder. Well, the next step is to generate these relevant captions, not just any generic AI slop captions. I'm talking about social media captions with best practices that move the needle, drive engagement, et cetera. And so I'm gonna show you just a few quick ways that you can do this. Number one is the obvious copy and paste way. And so let's just say I went ahead and copy and pasted these titles down here. And let's say I wanna go ahead and generate captions that are related to these titles. And by the way, that's why it's important that you have titles for each media asset. I know it's an extra step here to have a title dedicated for each media asset, but that is super important if you wanna speed up this process of generating captions that are relevant to the media asset for a social media post. And so what you can do after copying and pasting this, obviously we need captions for this. So the easy way here is using a custom GPT or a chat GPT project. So what you can say here, and I already have a, a GPT built out for this. I built it a while ago. You can use it if you want. I'll leave it in the description if you wanna use it. I basically said, create engaging social media captions using my instructions based on video titles when I provide them. So I went ahead and copy and pasted all of these video titles right here, and then it gave me all of these captions. And so what I can do now is take these captions, copy them, copy command C, go back to the Google sheet, and then command V right here. And then these captions align perfectly with the title. So these would post on social media with these captions. Now, I noticed these hashtags are here. So this would be more for YouTube shorts, TikTok, and Instagram reels. But if I went back and wanted to post more for Twitter or LinkedIn, for instance, I would wanna remove those hashtags. And so that's essentially what I told it to do. Come back to ChatGPT or that custom GPT, paste in those refined captions. And then here we go right here. Now, if you don't wanna do copy paste mode, of course I could go through if you have more and copy more and then have more captions that way and do it more in bulk. If you don't wanna do copy paste mode, well, what you could do is actually use ChatGPT agent to help you do this in the background while you're working on other higher value tasks. So this is a prompt that I actually used, right? Where essentially, so I'll just, I'll show you from scratch under, you know, a project or, you know, in the normal chat, if you click the plus icon, click agent mode, that would enable chat GPT agent. And so in this particular example here, I gave it this exact Google Sheets URL. So I went ahead and click shared, click copy link, make sure anyone with the links on editor mode here, and then gave it to chat GPT agent mode and basically said, I want you to update column C in this particular tab based on the title in column A, do you understand? It gave me a sample batch of, you know, so I could quality control it versus just saying, yeah, go for it. And then in the background in about 10, 15, 20 minutes, ChatGPT agent went ahead and started updating all of these captions without me even doing anything. Now, I, I made sure that the captions were high quality using best practices and whatnot before I just said, yeah, go generate AI slop captions with hashtags, emojis, and dashes, et cetera. But that is another way that you could do that is with ChatGPT agent. And I understand there's probably a more efficient way to generate these captions here. I tried using Gemini within Google Sheets. You have to be on that $20 Google AI Pro plan or whatever it's called these days. That was a bust. That would not work for whatever reason. You could do this with an AI agent, but that of course lacks quality control. So you always got to keep an eye on these things. You could probably build an AI powered automation that would fill this out in make.com or N8N. I need to go down more of the rabbit hole there when I have time, but there are definitely definitely ways that you can improve this process of generating captions than what I just showed you from copy paste into GPT or a project or using chat GPT agent mode in the background. But long story short, that is a high level overview of my AI content pipeline and how I'm feeding these automations with continuous content. I'm sure I left some things out. There's a million moving parts here. I know there's ways I could make this more efficient, even with more outsourcing and trying to build automations and agents and whatnot. But I just wanted to literally do a brain dump here of how I'm doing all of this in the background to make sure that this automation that auto posts across all my social platforms daily is continuing to fire on all cylinders. And I hope you guys found this valuable. If you have any thoughts, concerns, questions, et cetera, let me know in the comment section below. But if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate your guys' support. 
If you did find value in what I said here, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.